What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I wanted to showcase this amazing feature which is granted when the artifact in question is equipped. Now during my time in Gamescom I got a little spare time to check out some of the new 8 artifacts which I'll show you guys on screen me inspecting each and every one of them. The one I really wanted to try out was the memory of Timmer. What this basically does is as follows. Melee attacks on minions of the darkness have a chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies. This just sounded absolutely badass and it's one of the few I really wanted to try out and under the circumstances it is about the only one that I wanted to try out which I could try out. I was told though that it don't work on all enemies and I believe ogres are out of the question and enemies of the same scale. So I don't think you can go and try melee crota and take the raid that way because it just won't happen. Knights, wizards, etc. are all a part of the group of enemies you can turn against their own allies. So that's what I set out to do. And guys, trust me when I say this and you'll see it for yourselves, it works like a charm, it really does. A lot better than actually expected and it lasts quite a while too. Simply meleeing an enemy instantly makes him shoot at his own allies. I tried it on wizards, knights, vandals and it worked more often than not. As remember, there's only a chance that it will actually work. On smaller minions of the darkness, obviously, they're hard to actually turn due to the fact that most of the time, one melee will kill them. It's actually quite an effective artifact, and I'm guessing all artifacts are as effective in their own right. The other one I really wanted to try out was the memory of Radagast. What this does is basically give you the ability to deflect bullets and supers back at your enemy. But with this you need a sword to activate the reflect animation. And unfortunately the default loadouts we were able to use at Gamescom none offered a sword setup which was a shame as I wanted to test out if you could play ping pong with a titan hammer. I also wanted to test if actually deflecting a hammer or another super back at the person who shot it will actually cause damage to them. Will it also damage their teammates? I mean it makes sense that it wouldn't but I'm pretty sure they did say that you could reflect it back at them as well as bullets. On this one I'm guessing we'll just have to wait until the Rise of Iron is released. But anyway guys, what artifact are you most looking forward to trying out? It will take you quite a while to try them all, as I do believe you can only obtain one per week. But don't hold me on that quote. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! up one more node. Let's go get it. That's the last node. Security. It's hard to get a clean reading down here. Keep moving. The closer we get to each node, the easier they are to match. 